Around 1918, the small town of Cabo, just north of Pittsburgh, PA, was becoming a hot spot for European immigrants. They were making their way mainly from Poland and Slovakia. There was plenty of work booming in the area. Limestone and salt mines were picking up traction. Sand plants, brickyards, and tile factories were gaining popularity. Business was booming. However, they did not have the necessary number of employees to continue production. These immigrants began to work their way into the area without their families or personal property to begin their new lives in America. Later in 1918 into 1919, the Spanish influenza hit America. It spread through the country, killing countless people. The flu hit Cabo, taking the lives of nearly 260 of these workers essentially overnight. With no family nearby and not being associated with any church, these victims needed to be disposed of and very quickly before the disease could spread. The borough and local church, St. John's of Coilsville, commissioned mass graves on the outskirts of town and gave these victims a rush burial rite. Both the wagon driver and the constable gave personal accounts of the graves holding nearly 20 bodies in each. Upon dumping the bodies, they deposited hydrated lime on them in order to decompose the bodies faster. Once their bodies were covered, a large cross made of railroad ties was commissioned to mark the graves. In time, the cross turned a soot black color and by 2002, the cross replaced with the silver granite cross. It is not known of how many immigrants perished or were buried in the mass grave, but the county of Winfield suffered 300 deaths. It is said that most victims were in the fact the immigrants buried under the cross. Black Cross guests have reported odd activity in the grave site known as Wooden Cross Cemetery. Some have heard phantom babies sobbing, echoing from the grave site. Some others claim that the trees surrounding the Black Cross site reach out and try to grab them. Odd and non-English speaking voices have been heard exiting the ground beneath the cross and from inside the mass grave site.